from Alps Road Elementary School, which is on Baxter, to Clark Middle School, which is on Baxter, to Anthons High, which became Clark Central High on Baxter, and at the end of Baxter is the University of Georgia. So through all of my education uh, here in Athens, it was all basically off one street, and that's off Baxter Street. But that spans from elementary school up through college. Now, Greg, for people who don't know your background, you're an Athens boy, grew up in Athens, uh, played tennis for Coach McGill, got in, and when you graduated, oh, by the way, Wes, just so you'll know this, huh. Mr. McGarry and I graduated in the same time, on the same day at the same time with the same degree of journalism at the University of Georgia. Obviously, Greg went on and did something <laughs> meaning, meaningful with his life, but, but, I mean, you, you worked in sports formation and did some, you did various things before you got into athletic administration, correct? Absolutely. Matter of fact, Claude was showing me a memo that he had sent me as a student in the sports information office about okay. getting something done on time and making sure that it was done on time in a certain way. So, you know, Claude was my mentor here at the University of Georgia, along with Dan McGill mm -hmm. and people like that. But, you know, during high school and college and everything, it was a, uh, it was a, uh, a work life and it was something that I think everyone would dream that loves college athletics dreamed of doing was to be involved in college athletics it was it was a passion that a few of us had during that time and it's something that once you get involved with it is it's hard to get out of it because it's in your blood and it's something that really fascinates you every day every day is different you've got a different group of student athletes that rotate in every year mm -hmm. some are there three four years and relationships are formed during those times, but there's really nothing like college athletics because it, it keeps you young, it's in a, uh, an atmosphere of, of constant improvement. You Basically, sometimes you have to start over, you have some ups and downs, and sometimes the downs are really downers and the ups are really yeah. uppers, and it's where you've got to kind of find some, some middle ground there. It's, it's never as bad as it seems, it's never as good as it seems, it's somewhere in the middle. So. That's the toughest thing I think you have to deal with in college athletics is, is dealing with the, the different swings of emotions that we all have.